Ah, uh, so I had I had decided to make the switch to Salesforce, right? And then I started um, looking into Trailhead, and that's why I realized, like, probably like a few years ago, I even had bought the Mike Ruler Salesforce course, like from like 2019. That means that's how long I had been thinking, I guess, of switching. Um, so I, at the time, I was pregnant, and I'm like, I don't know. This seems to be really hard, and. I was looking at, you know, looking for videos on YouTube of, of, of about Salesforce. And then one day as I'm scrolling as a recommendation, I get a, a testimonial actually from one of the talent stacker alumni. And she was somebody like, and it, okay, I know everybody has different beliefs, but I would, this was too much of a coincidence. I would say this was fate because her testimonial was exactly on how she went through the program um, at, while she was pregnant and during her maternity leave. That's when she like took the time to apply to different jobs. And then I think by the time she um, by the time she was done with her leave, she had already found a job, so she just had to give her notice. Um, before she returned. So when I found that test, that's the first video I ever watched about Talent Stacker. So when I watched that video, and then I was just like, wow, this is like the answers to my prayers. I, I didn't know, you know. Um, so as, after I watched it, and then I, I, I looked into the who the channel was and that's how it was self was for everyone. I was like, oh, I've never heard it. So I started looking at other videos within within that. And then I saw I, you know, you know, found Bradley and, and the talent soccer program. So I started watching more videos. I joined the Facebook group, the public one, um, obviously public one <laughs> online. So I started watching, um, you know, posts of people and asking questions, people getting certifications. So I was like, okay. So I would go from time to time in there, see what's going on. But then in the meantime, I continued on with my current job and also on, on Trailhead, you know, doing as much work as I could. Um, so the industry is hospitality. Um, um, so the company I work for, they oversee tourism in the Caribbean region, but on the private sector. Um, I'm their membership development and database coordinator. That's my title. Um, so basically I help with, um, member onboarding and recruitment sort of, and also, um, overseeing the system. So I was the system administrator, um, making sure the data is right, doing data, um, cleanup and system process improvement. Um, so those stuff. These are the type of things that I, I I was doing. The thing about my job was, I mean, I really love the perks of, because every year they had an event they did at a different destination. So, I mean, I've been with them. This September will be four years since I've started with them. Um, aside from the pandemic, I've been to two different countries. So Jamaica and Bahamas was uh, two countries. I mean, these are great perks. And I do love... Being from the Caribbean myself, because I'm originally from Haiti, um, I did like appreciate the work they were doing and I did see the value in it. So um, I was really, I mean, still am, am in helping in the mission that they had. Unfortunately, with the pandemic though, um, the hospitality industry was hit pretty hard and there had to be, a lot of things had to change. So. I was grateful that I was one of the people who still stayed in the team because um, some people had to be let go and other people ended up leaving to the point where I can tell you, I can count on one hand how many staff was left. Um, but I was grateful, you know, that I still had a job. However, <laughs> with that comes a lot more responsibility than on the fact, you know, the pay was cut and we had more jobs to do and the hours were it was overwhelming very overwhelming adding on the fact that you know i ended up i was pregnant and then all the stuff so adding on that did not make things any easier
joining the study group really helped me out because we we will meet up every week um to go over the materials and also how we all were sharing our experiences um you know how we were learning or different resources that we found um we had created a uh a group a workspace on slack for our study group so that's where we had different channels we shared different resources and then we were also using the focus on course materials which is how we'll take some some of the practice tests together um the way we went about doing that that really helped me out in like finding like what the areas that i needed to work on more i mean aside from the breakdown of the each objective that i had from the um my test result um i still had you know with focus on force questions i had no idea some some things <laughs> about self force until i like found them through the focus on force materials like what <laughs> it was like so but with the study group we will share um like articles or um maybe from a community that we are on um and you know trial head oh this is what they shared there um this is how like i myself you know with at times share resources that i've found or even sometimes things that i remember from when i previously used to use self was like oh you know you can do this that way and um like it, that really helped in reinforcing my knowledge of it I mean I'm still working on my task management <laughs> to tell you but um throughout the process I I wanted to at least every week if I could to at least spend an hour a day um if cuz it's better to do something than to do nothing if I could only do like half of a module I know sometimes you know they put the estimated time this should take you like 10 minutes and I'm like I'm 20 minutes later and I'm still in the same <laughs> I'm still in the same like what's going on like is it that I don't understand what I'm doing but I I know you know I I didn't I start like not paying attention to like how long they say it should take you to like do the modules and just like do it to to the point where okay I understand what I'm doing so if it took me an hour I mean with having little kids you know I had to put them to bed and stuff and with a newborn whenever <laughs> she's hungry then I had to like get to her but like in between those times like sometimes I know I said I'll spend at least one hour sometimes it's after everybody's asleep you know everybody's in in bed then be like 11 12 o'clock past 12 o'clock sometimes and I'm on my computer and doing you know doing the work So this summer, yeah, I take my test and I definitely not ready because I was still going through the trial um prepare for yourself as admin one. And in the meantime, I had started um you know, reaching out because I had found the Celsius for everyone. So there are some like some of your free resources, I started looking into them. So I started like, you know, connecting with other people on LinkedIn and people within my network, you know, from previous um jobs um i had a past worker who you know is a friend and i was telling him hey so i decided you know to switch into salesforce and he actually was worked for a consulting firm where you know they uh their salesforce partner so i, I was like telling him I was like oh, okay and then he like i can help you out in you know applying and fixing up your resume and things like that so throughout the same process what i was doing i was also networking in a way uh networking and connecting with other people and applying also i know i wasn't like i didn't have my certification yet but i still um was applying to jobs at that point junior admin roles not like regular salesforce admin roles so i was applying to junior admin roles and at some point in march i actually got um a call for an interview for one of the junior admin <laughs> admin positions and I was like okay so 
most people were really understanding, I would say. Most people were understanding as to, you know, everybody's working remotely and they're home. So people have kids or pets. Me and my kids, I don't have pets, I have kids. <laughs> so they're making noise or coming into, you know, the, the camera, which is something my four-year-old does a lot. <laughs> Whenever she sees me on the call, she always comes, like, try to say hi and stuff. So... I always tell her when I'm in an interview, like this area is no limit. Anyways, it it doesn't always register. <laughs> so I had to manage telling people, okay, this is what's going on. And most of the time after the first one, she's kind of quiet. Um, for this, oh, <laughs> for, for this position, um, one of my interviews actually, that was after I had the mug interview with Justin. Funny enough, same thing happened. <laughs> as I'm having the interview, my youngest started crying. And I just, I had to excuse myself for a little bit. I went to grab her. I had her on my lap and I finished the interview um, with her on my lap. She, you know, my oldest saw the youngest one in my lap. So she came into this. So I just had to breathe in her too. I was like, hey, this is Carly. <laughs> so everybody was having an interview. <laughs> But yeah, most people are understanding as to the situation and it's has, it wasn't really like, I try not to make it a big deal so that it doesn't become a big deal. Because as Justin had like, you gotta like help me, it's like, it's, it's me trying to help them handle the situation because if I'm making it uncomfortable, then if I seem uncomfortable, then they might become uncomfortable. So. That was advice I took from him, and that, and on that note, I need to <laughs> go grab her. <laughs> so give me a second. I didn't know about choose FI until we know I joined Talent Stacker, but I was doing some things, doing a similar program um, with, um, I don't know if you've heard of it, Ramsey Solutions. Yes. So I had started that um, with the baby steps and, you know, getting up that and, you know, and uh, being able to not leave paycheck to paycheck. So that was like part of like my overall goal, switching, like transitioning to a career in Salesforce was part of that goal because then it would help me in accomplishing those other goals which is you know getting out of debt and having an emergency fund and all this stuff and other things you know that i'll be able to do you know, start investing and you know for the future and things like that so that that's you know part that was a big piece it was a big milestone that i had to accomplish in order to have all those other things for me to achieve them and with this role i know it's my first role i mean i do I haven't started there yet but then i already like how people communicated with me so far the company i'm hoping to be there for some time quite some time and i see the room for growth there as well so i mean you never know but at least for my vintage rent right now that's how it looks like um but i definitely see me accomplishing those goals now with with this new role and also um total compensation is like way more than i had expected so i definitely see all of those goals um being and also I was already working remotely, but my work-life balance because of my current role, the amount of work and things I had to be do to be done was really overwhelming at times. With this new role, where at uh, this company where they really promote a work-life balance and people have to have to use their PTO, um, I see that me having a better work-life balance and my daughter going to school my youngest one you know i'm home with her um with the flexibility 
you know, being able to manage all of that, it's really what I was looking forward to.